Ja, he, ha, he. Well, I must say, he's a mighty powerful digger. To be able to handle 20 ton, just push it around over the fucking, however it wants. She does pretty well. <laughs> Even when it's being driven by an orangutan. Now from here, I could just get the load all on it, like really easy. Just, just enough to get it out of the mud and then... But then there's no fun. Yeah, there's, there's no fun, is that? Yeah, there's no fun. He wants he wants to join the yard monkeys. <laughs> Getting bored in the office, isn't he? Yeah, so the the hydraulic like the turning side of it, it's not got the power, but when you lift Whoppa! It's a good job it's only going for mechanical spares, isn't it? One careful owner. Yeah. <laughs> One careful owner, that was the British Army to get used. Okay, um, okay, yeah, every other owner wasn't careful. came down on the main a little bit and then out on the dipper that'd pull it out lovely. Okay, action, take two. Right, exactly as you are forward, so it slews a little bit. That's it. I reckon about a foot more at that angle. I've got to get the rubber on the edge of that, that track. It's looking about right, but it's not... Ah, oh, that's trickier. The old bucket's touching. That's strange, it should be there. It's actually looking quite good, isn't it? Looking pretty good. Now, hang on. I think you've got to go that way a little bit now. Yeah, just a little bit of steering. I can probably push the arse end round with me big monster digger. Handy having a monster digger right by your side. I wonder what he's doing now. Oh, I see he's putting his own bucket up. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful machine. Just see that going past Hamley's Regent Street Christmas Airfix painted on the side. Load of presents in the bucket, me dressed as Father Christmas. 10 grand, thank you. Not looking very good, is it? Stop, stop. Not that I think you're very good this side anyway. I'm gonna to have to try and pull it across with the digger, but then the ramps will move. Not looking good at all. Always oh, putting some D links in where those um, indicators are. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Will the hook go in the hole? Uh, no, I think, I think it's a bit thick for that. Uh, shall we try it? I'll try I'll see if we get our D-link. Yeah, the whole thing's got to come this way a long way, but when I start lifting and tugging and yanking around, those ramps are going to go all over the place because they're not fixed, you see. They're just laying on the back of the low loader. How shit is that? This um, lorry normally shifts caravans, and the Polish boys have got a, a kind of um, a backload free. So they're trying to get this on a backload. 
Mm, that's a nice shackle, but whether we can undo it or not, it looks well knackered. 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 That's 30 quid a piece they are nowadays. Hmm. Be nimble, nimble bloke, isn't he? Nimble. Yeah. I used to be nimble. I could still do that. I can still do that. If I wanted to. I could still do it. I could do with another inch. And I don't, you know what I mean. be happy people. They have to pay for which. Driver pay for which if he breaks it. I said yesterday you can pull a CET with a two-ton winch but you can't turn it. Unfortunately I was right.
possibly go wrong.
more, he's going to push it. Yeah, he's going to use the winch as well. Oh, possibly. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Yeah, she's sort of shifted at the back now. Yeah, no, we're okay. We're okay. Nice and easy, does it? Hang on, I've had an idea. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Right, he's got the end of he's got to his knot now. What he could do is double the chain up. Lovely job. Well, it's down to them now. See if they can get the remote control to work on their winch. I think they're out of battery on their um, on their winchy thing. I would get the digger out of the way, but I've still got the feeling I'm going to have to give it a nudge at the front to spin it round the tab. But um, yes, job almost completed. Bit of a tidy up, get rid of the mud. Fish bashly bosh. Good old digger, doesn't it? You can't beat a Volvo. If only it was a Volvo. Volvo, Volvo, Volvo. It's a bit like a Rolex. It's not really a Rolex, but you can still tell the time. And they've got some good big hefty chains and some good big hefty ratchet straps. And the chains are attached to that little diddly diddly squid. I think that came in a Christmas cracker. Yeah, I think it was a cracker. It's coming across. I don't know how strong these are. Oh, dear, no. oh my God. Don't anyone drive on the roads from here to Poland for the next two days.